Let's think about the stereochemistry of an SN1 reaction. If you remember our SN2 reaction, we had the inversion and the retention of the uh, stereochemistry. Let's think about what occurs here. So we've got a stereo center over here where we've got an ethyl group, an isopropyl group, and a chert butyl group. And then we're going to put this in some water and have an SN1 reaction occur. So the first thing that's going to happen is this bromine is going to simply leave. And then as soon as we do that, we form our carbocation, which is planar, and then essentially deletes out the stereochemistry. And so this water can nucleophilically attack from the bottom or the top. It doesn't matter which side it comes from. And so what ends up happening after the nucleophilic attack and then the deprotonation of the water you end up with this alcohol and it's essentially racemic. There is a small preference for inversion, but we're just gonna go with racemic.